Hello, and welcome to the Church of Fuck You. I'm St. Patrick. Now, before I get into my whole speech about why we're going to do what we're going to do, I want to read some statistics to you first. From a 2007 study for the National Institute of Justice, the vast majority of victims of sexual assault, 89%, reported drinking alcohol, and 82% reported being drunk before being assaulted. In 2010, 10,228 people were killed in alcohol-impaired driving crashes. In 2010, 211 children, four, 0 to 14, were killed by an alcohol-impaired driver. Now, whether they were in the car with the driver or the driver hit their car, 211 children. Keep going. There are approximately 88,000 deaths attributed to excessive alcohol use each year in the United States, 88,000. And for all you healthcare people, um, give you some numbers real fast. In 2006, there were more than 1.2 million emergency room visits and 2.7 million physician office visits due to excessive drinking. The economic costs of excessive alcohol consumption in 2006 were an estimated 2.2, I'm sorry, 200 $23.5 billion. Sorry, I was rushing there. I apologize. Now, that's actually from the CDC, the um, alcohol um, impaired drivers. That's all that's from the CDC. So you can feel free to go check the websites if you want. I'll even post the links. So just to let you know, I'm not making this shit up. Um, from the U.S. Department of Justice, they estimate that a majority of the criminal offenders were under the influence of alcohol alone when they committed their crimes. Federal research shows that 40% uh, that of convicted murderers being held in jail or state prison, alcohol use was a factor in their homicides, in the homicides that they committed. Now I present to you these facts. I present to you the statistics on alcohol, and I pretty much beg the question, why isn't alcohol banned? My fellow, we should ban alcohol immediately. Now, I know some of you would say, well, you know, St. Patrick, it's in the Constitution that we can drink. It, we, we're, we're allowed. Prohibition has been obliterated. You know, we can, you can, we can drink. Well, I say that Constitution amendment is outdated. We should get rid of it immediately and undo the law that it undid, if you follow my drift. Get rid of it. Old. And if you don't want to get rid of it, fine. We should make it extremely difficult for anybody who wants to drink to get alcohol. I mean, is it to me, you know, shouldn't you not have to get like a psych evaluation before you drink? Should you not have to go through some background check to see if you are a rapist or if you were convicted of something before you can drink? I mean, these, these statistics don't lie. Come on now, 89% of people who have been drinking, I mean, let's say fine, if you've been raped, should you be allowed to buy alcohol when 89% of the people who have been sexually assaulted was drinking? Make it hard. I mean, make it as, as difficult as possible. The fact that we allow rapists, that we allow drunk drivers, I mean, drunk drivers who've been crashing and they've been convicted of drunk driving, they can still go and buy alcohol. So we need background checks. We need, you know, psych evaluations. You need a medical clearance in order to be able to drink. I think that is appropriate given these horrific statistics. And let's say, okay, fine, you are allowed to drink. You, you know, you passed everything. You're still allowed to drink. But still, there should not should there not be a limit on how much you can buy? I mean, who needs 24 beers? Let's be real. Who needs more than one or two beers at a time? Who needs a fifth or a gallon of any liquor? Who needs four bottles of wine? You know, we should pass a law where you get one beer one glass of wine, or one shot a week. I mean, how much more do you need? I mean, come on, this is public safety. How much more alcohol do you need to consume in a week? Now, I know some of you may come and say, well, St. Patrick, I mean, there, there's a lot of, you know, great things that alcohol does. There's a lot of good things. There's a lot of health benefits that a glass of wine can do. And before you even start any of that, please know that I would immediately dismiss any information you have because clearly you got it from Fox News or the National Wine Association because obviously there's no good that ever comes from drinking. Everyone knows this. Now, I know some of you may be, you know, say, well, this is not really fair. You know, this is bullshit. You know, I don't necessarily agree with this. And for you people who don't agree with banning or making alcohol extremely hard to get, 
It's clear why you don't feel this way. It's because you're some college fret boy who just want to get women drunk and get, you know, and, and get easy victims. That's, that's all you want. Or you're, you know, you're just some old man who has to go around and beat on his wife and kids after he get liquored up. Or you're actually in favor of drunk drivers careening down the street and just smashing into minivans and killing the poor innocent babies in there. As a matter of fact, you're, you're, you're in heaven when a child grabs, you know, a beer or, or a glass of wine or whatever off the table and they drink too much and they get alcohol poisoned and die. Matter of fact, if you ever feel like you don't, you know, you're not agreeing with me 100%, then you are in favor of every bad thing that ever happens to anyone because of alcohol. Because clearly that's your motivation. You just want your liquor. You don't care about anyone else. Now, I know some of you will be saying, I know some of you probably feeling a level of frustration right now. Like, dude, really? This, this video is bullshit. I mean, come on, St. Patrick, what's going on? I mean, how in the world are you going to make all of us suffer because there's a few assholes who do something stupid while drinking alcohol? I mean, there are millions of Americans, millions of people in the world, billions of people in the world who consume alcohol every day and they never do any of this stupid shit. So why are you putting us all in the same pot? Why are you putting us all together? Why are you linking us all, you know, in, in one category when... We're not a part of that category. They're just assholes who, you know, abuse it and don't know how to handle it. And let's be real, Mr. St. Patrick. It's kind of feel weird talking in third person, but you get the point. Let's be real. You can find statistics on anything, negative statistics, and have reason enough to ban everything. And to that point, I say I agree with you 100%. See, this is what people who have been pro-gun have been saying for the longest fucking time. Welcome to our world.